So there are several reasons. It turns out that if you take a vitamin D supplement, that the vitamin D level in your blood quickly goes up and quickly comes down. And only about 60% of it is bound to what's called the vitamin D binding protein in your bloodstream. So that means you're using about 60% of it. 40% of it is being rapidly excreted um, in through the liver into the bile. Um, we did a study and, and we showed that if you take an oral dose of vitamin D versus exposure to simulated sunlight um, in a tanning bed, that the vitamin D lasts two to three times longer. And we and Dr. Haddad many years before had shown that when you're making it in your skin, that it goes into your circulation and 100% is utilized by your body being bound to the uh, vitamin D binding protein. And so as a result, I'm always asked the question, is there any difference? And there clearly is that when you make vitamin D in your skin, what happens is that you actually don't make vitamin D, right? It's the precursor of cholesterol known as 70 hydrocholesterol. It absorbs the ultraviolet radiation or light from sunlight. It opens up that cholesterol molecule into pre-vitamin D. And pre-vitamin D we showed, and others have shown the same, is unstable. And that just based on your body temperature, it quickly is converted to vitamin D because it's made in the plasma membrane of your epidermal cell, which enhances that whole process. And so what's happening is when you're exposed to sunlight, you make pre-vitamin D, in, in the membrane of your epidermal cells, the upper layer of your skin cells. And then that is now being converted to vitamin D, which is then getting ejected out of the cell, now going out into the extracellular space, and then is diffusing out into um, the dermal capillary bed where it's picked up in your bloodstream and then taken to the liver to be converted to 25 hydroxy vitamin D. We also know that when you're exposed to sunlight and you're making pre-vitamin D, as soon as pre-vitamin D is made, it's absorbing ultraviolet light and it's being converted to other photoproducts called lomisterol and dikisterol. And we and Dr. Slominski and others are beginning to show now that these photoproducts may have some unique biologic properties. So it's quite possible that by being exposed to sunlight and making vitamin D, that you're not only making vitamin D, but that you're making several other photoproducts that may have important biologic functions, including helping to reduce risk possibly for skin cancer. 